Thanks mainly to uh, a comment I recently received uh, after one of my videos uh, from one of our viewers. I thought I'd uh, do a little bit of a refresher course on binocular lens coatings, both for myself and uh, and uh, for my viewers. And so what we've got coming up, and yes I do have a cheat sheet so I get everything in order. And so first of all we'll look at what binocular lens coatings do, uh, the different then the different types of lens coating. Uh, followed by buyer's beware section and finally I'll, I'll show you a, a visual uh, re result sh showing the difference between uh, uh, fully coated optics and fully multi coated and the difference is well just you have to wait till the end of the video uh, to see that where it will literally all become clear and so what do lens coatings do? Well basically you want the light to go from A to B, you don't want light to bounce back. You want as much light as possible going through the binocular, monocular, telescope, etc. And so lens coatings are simply anti-reflection. And so you don't want, you want less, light, re, less light reflecting back, more light going through to the eyepiece. And that's what binocular coatings do. And so going through the types of coatings, you, you have no coatings at all which are more than likely believe me we don't sell these the little plastic toy ones you can get for a few pounds uh, I think you used to be able to get binoculars uh, from from the pound shops for literally a pound or they're probably a five and a half but those are no coatings at all and have a very very poor view then you have uh, like these uh, 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 fully coated lenses and so uh, maybe each lens or, or more than one lens has anti-reflection coatings on them and so maybe only what 85 percent you know rough ballpark 85 percent uh, let's say light going through 15 percent uh, reflecting back and then you have multi-coated optics which means as in the word multi m multiple uh, layers of anti-reflection coatings on, on each lens uh, and then finally fully multi-coated uh, where there are multiple layers sometimes up to 60 or more and obviously that does increase manufacturing time and cost on both both sides of every lens from one end to the other and uh, that will allow over 95% of the light going through so there's hardly any light very little light bouncing back and so all those anti-reflection coatings are letting the light go through not bounce back and that's why you've got fully coated uh, multi-coated optics and then at the top fully multi-coated and you could go on to ED glass and also another variant is the quality of prisms but that is another video we're just talking about lens coatings and so fully multi-coated they are the best ones and so buyers beware uh, maybe can't see it here I don't know some uh, binoculars in, in their advertising show these wonderful uh, colorful lenses and you think you must think wow they've got some uh, they must have some amazing coatings on them and uh, I just picked one example from a, uh, an online store not a UK store uh, and it shows this little compact set of binoculars and I, I know uh, that these are probably 8 times 21 uh, just basic fully coated optics but uh, in the image we're seeing now you can see some delightful green um, uh, well blue uh, blue coatings on, on one of them and on the other one they're, they're, all, they're all, all of a sudden they turn green uh, so yeah some nice uh, processing going on I think there uh, with the, with the with the images, maybe the maybe they like these adapted colours that you know when you point them at a pair of Swarovskis they go green with envy. I, I don't know. And uh, talking about colourful lenses, for those that have watched my channel before, delightful uh, colourful coatings on lenses doesn't always mean better. And controversy coming up now. Even one of the brands I sell in their magazine and I can think they're all probably just 
doing that now. Like, don't worry, not these. Uh, thinking, oh my word, I wonder if they're talking about me. But uh, some of the uh, the colours in their lenses, not quite not quite right and so I'm guessing you know just to make it look good in the magazine they just added that afterwards or had maybe a colourful card or, or lights to one side but it, it makes for a nice photograph so just buy everywhere yeah just use common sense and even better if you can uh, pick them up and uh, have a look for them so definitely buy everywhere if something online it looks a very very colourful lens that might not be the lens itself uh, it may actually be what they're reflecting uh, of. And so I'm going to show you a couple of examples now. Uh, one of these is fully coated and uh, the other one is is multi, fully multi-coated. And I'm using these as examples. And so can you tell which one is the basic fully coated? Bear in mind that with fully multi-coated there is you get less reflection yeah so yes it's the one on the right that is the fully multi-coated and uh, so, something like maybe the whore capos you, you'll hardly go you know, up a scale from these you'll hardly see any reflection at all you'll be able to see inside the monocular so if if you pick them up and uh, you look at them and you think oh I, I can't see any lens coatings there I can only see right through to the inner workings that, that could often be a good thing and if you're out and about and I get a few people at our optics weekends to do this and uh, I'll give them a practical demonstration of lens coatings and something you could do yourself if you if you do go elsewhere uh, I'll, I'll get people to just turn them around look through I'll say can you see your reflection oh yeah yeah, yeah I can with these and then they'll pick up another set can you see your reflection no I can't see anything and then you explain to them about the different lens coatings, about how the better ones you will see less reflection. Uh, and uh, so yeah, uh, I hope that helps. So uh, just a little brief uh, explanation of uh, what lens coatings are, what they do, a little buyer's beware section, and a little hint and tip on how to test for yourself uh, when going out to make the purchase. So. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time.